Meredith and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'm so excited that you found me and if you're returning, I'm so grateful you've decided to come back and watch more. I love all things luxury. I love luxury shoes, I love luxury handbags, luxury lifestyle and vlogging and if they're things that appeal to you, I hope you'll do me a massive favor and hit that subscribe button down below. Hitting that subscribe button costs you absolutely nothing and means so much to me, so I hope you'll help me out. Today is a very special unboxing. I recently hit 10,000 subscribers, which I am so incredibly excited about, so grateful for, and I'm just, yeah, I, I honestly never thought I would get this far on YouTube. I always said that I was just gonna start my channel. If three people watch, three people watch. I just wanted to talk about my handbags and my love of handbags. Um, so to have 10,000 people subscribe to my channel was just, not even in my realm of comprehension and I have hit 10,000 subscri subscribers in just under 18 months on YouTube and I am so incredibly grateful. I am so incredibly thankful. I am just humbled beyond words and I have to admit I'm a little bit proud of myself also, which I think is important to acknowledge that it is okay to be proud of yourself for what you achieve. Um, and I'm certainly feeling proud of myself. Um, and to celebrate that 10,000, hitting that such a big milestone um, for me, I have bought a very special handbag. I'm sure the handbags that are up behind me are giving you a clue as to what that handbag might be. But before I unbox it for you guys, um, first of all, let me tell you that this top came, comes from Dejuba because everybody asked me about it last time I put it on. It's a beautiful, beautiful top. It is still available on their website. So I will link their website down below. It's um, a beautiful color. I love it. Um, but I do want to acknowledge people who got me to my 10,000 subscribers. So first of all, all of you, all of you who watch me on a regular basis, who have supported me, who get in my comments, who talk to me on a regular basis. I can name a whole heap of you off the top of my head who I see all the time. So Wanda, Patty, Jean, um, all the other YouTubers who are in my comments all the time. Um, Jenny, I see you all. I see all of you. Those of you who are there all the time. I am so grateful to you um, for commenting and watching and supporting me. Thank you so much. To the other YouTubers who have supported me in this journey um, and who continue to tag me in videos or reference my videos. Thank you. Thank you. I can name a whole heap of you. All fabulous fabulous YouTubers. So Claire Louise Lux, um, Deb from Wild Unfiltered, Amelia from Amelia Rose's Closet, Nick from Living Life Loud with NJS, Handbag Holic, so Steph from Handbag Holic. So much design by Han, um, Leslie Adina, um, Style by Gwenny, Lisa from Luxury in Life in the Middle, Winnie from Winnie BLV, Autumn Beckman, um, Victoria from uh, Accounting for Luxury, um, and of course my local peeps. Uh, we have Jessie Styles, we have Connor from The Closet, who is one of my peas, and of course Dale from Dale's Addiction, who is one of my very good friends in his third P, um, and who did a lot of PR for me at the very start to get people to watch me without her this journey probably would have been much harder. Um, so I recognize all those people plus the many, many more who have supported um, my channel and who continue to support me. Thank you so much. Onward and upward, I say, let's let's keep going. <laughs> I hit 10,000. Let's see what else we can do. But in the meantime, let's unbox the bag that I bought to celebrate this milestone because it is a very important milestone, especially when you go into this and you're not sure if you're going to get any traction whatsoever, if people are even going to like you. Um, so I, I did want to celebrate that with something. So I had seen this um, in a lookbook. I knew I was coming into 10,000 subscribers and I thought I'll buy it and put it aside side and I will then unbox it whenever that happens. As it happened, um, I hit 10,000 subscribers while I was waiting for it to arrive. So that, that last push of subscribers really happened quickly for me, which once again, super grateful. Um, so let's open it. It is a Fendi bag, as you can see, and you probably guessed what's in here. So let's get it out. So I saw this in a lookbook. Um, my London sales associate sent it to me. Hi, Shao. Love Shao at New Bond Street. Um, and I was going to buy it through him, but 
they wouldn't let him ship it direct to me. I had to get it shipped to somewhere else, either a parcel forwarding service or one of my friends in the UK. Um, and uh, in the wrap up of all that, it was going to cost me more money to then have it shipped to me. Plus I'd have to pay duties and taxes. So it was all going to end up costing more money. I had my sales associate in Sydney price it for me and it was the exact same amount as it would have cost me to buy it in London before all those extras I had to pay for. Um, and then he managed to get it to me because it didn't come to our region. So he had to do some haggling in the background and they um, agreed to release it to me. So I made payment and it got here. So this had to be done as an order because it didn't exist in Australia um, and we hadn't ordered it. So we had to get Singapore, I think, to open up ordering for it. I then had to get on and order it through their online system through Rome. Rome sent it to my store in Sydney. Sydney sent it to me. <laughs> it was a whole thing, but I really wanted this bag and I thought it was perfect to celebrate my 10,000 subscribers. I love it so much. I have not seen it in the flesh yet. I have not opened it. It only arrived to me yesterday and I am unboxing it today. Although by the time this goes live, it'll be a couple of weeks later, but I am so excited to have it. So let's hope it looks exactly like I think it does or else it's going to be a very disappointing unboxing. So let's open it up. So comment down below what you think I got other than, other than the obvious, what kind do you think I got? So it looks like this. Tear the paper. Ooh, ooh. So there's a tusk bag there and then it's in its own little box, which I've never really seen. Oh, look. So it gives it a little protective box. Oh, that's very cool. So we'll get it out. Mm. I haven't bought one of these. I feel like the last one of these I bought was my wedding bag. It's been a while. It has definitely been a while. So it comes in this dust bag and we'll open it up. Maybe. <laughs> oh, God. There we go. Goodness me. Aaron, what are you doing to me? <laughs> My sales associate in Sydney has been very particular with tying that up. It's perfect. It's absolutely perfect. <laughs> and he's even taken all the stickers off for me. Oh, you're a gem. It is, I'll put it this way. So this is a small Fendi first. <laughs> so Fendi first, you might've picked that in the small size in pink ostrich. It's so pretty. It's like a bubble gum pink. So I'm wondering, it's probably throwing in the viewfinder, it's throwing a little bit of an undertone of purple, but in real life, it is very much a pink. It's not quite a Barbie pink. It's more of a bubble gummy pink. It definitely has um, like lilac undertones to the pink, but it is definitely pink. And it's in this ostrich color. Uh, sorry, it's in this ostrich finish. And I love ostrich. It's one of my favorite exotics. And I just... I saw this pink and I was like, I need to own that. And it makes perfect, perfect sense that this would be a milestone bag for me. So I do have another Fendi first in ostrich. It's up here. Oh, I'll grab it. Oh goodness. My, my bags are very far back today. Um, so this is my, um, I call it like an eggplant or you might call it an aubergine, I think, but this is my eggplant purple ostrich. And then this is pink. So you can see that this is definitely pink compared to this purple, but it certainly throws a little bit of purple on the screen. So I do have that one and I'll put it back. But other than that, that's my only ostrich Fendi first I have, but I love ostrich. It is more hard wearing than you think it's gonna be. It has gold detail on it and this F for Fendi. I love this design. So you press the little button at the top and that releases it to open. Oh, Aaron, you're awesome. He's taken all the stickers off inside as well. Cause that kills me. <laughs> um, Fendi first have a lot of stickers when you get them. So you can see it's got the Zooka print inside. 
which is just perfect. And then we have the detail where they snap out and that is how you attach the strap, which is going to be in here, I would assume. <laughs> Let's have a look. Yep. yep. So here's the strap and it is also in ostrich and in the same color. So you can put the strap on and it becomes a shoulder bag. It can go crossbody. So let's have a look. I'll put it on the longest setting. I rarely use the straps with my Fendi Firsts. I tend to have them as clutches. So, so the mechanisms now swivel. That is a new feature. Some of my older Fendi Firsts, they don't swivel. So let's have a look. This is a mink one. This is uh, 2022. So if I snap these out, So these on the old ones don't swivel at all. They are stationary. So they have updated that design. Oh, you can see the mink has a, a satin lining, whereas the ostrich has the um, zooka print. So you can see they have up, uh, updated that design so they now swivel, which is a smart idea. <laughs> um, so if we do this... It does go cross body. It does sit a little bit higher than I would generally like it, but it does go cross body. You can also um, use your O-lock chain on this. If you have an O-lock chain, hang on, I'll grab mine. So you can buy O-lock chains from Fendi, which just look like this. And they've got the big um, D rings on the ends and you can put them on and it gives it a completely different look. So then it's a great shoulder bag. So with a beautiful, beautiful detail to it. So you have options available to you with the Fendi first. I love that they're now doing this swivel in the um, chain in the D-rings for the straps. Um, like I said, I don't usually use mine with a strap. I just carry it as a um, clutch and that's how I do it. But now that this detail exists, I might be more inclined to use it with a strap. So yes, but that is my beautiful ostrich Fendi first in the small size. I have small sizes and I have medium sizes. So this is a medium size. I don't have any middies yet. I haven't found anything in the midi size that I have loved enough to buy. And I don't know how I feel about the midi size to be perfectly honest. The small is my favorite size most certainly. Um, it fits everything I need it to fit. And yeah, it's just, it's such a stunning color. I love it so much. I feel like this was such a me bag and such a great one to buy for this milestone that, yeah, could I have picked anything more perfect, really? Apart from if Louis Vuitton did this exact color, um, I really don't feel like there could have been anything else that, yeah, could have suited. Um, yes. Uh, the F detail on it, if anyone is interested, is still an ostrich, but it does not have the little dots on it. They use a piece that is dotless, <laughs> for lack of a better term, dotless. Um, yeah, so tell me what you think of my new bag to celebrate my 10,000 subscribers. Thank you all so much for supporting my channel. Thank you for coming back and watching me over and over again. Thank you for commenting and just being here. It really does mean an awful lot. It does, when I say at the end of all my videos, it means a lot to a content creator. It really does. Support is what we need to keep going. Without support, we we, should, we just don't exist. We cease to exist. So if you like what content creators are doing, subscribe, get involved, just be there. That's all we need. And it keeps us going because for the most part, a lot of us have other jobs and this is just a hobby. So in order for us to make it a priority in our lives, we have to derive joy from it and get feedback for it. And those things come in the form of subscribers and comments and interaction without them we, we're going to lose interest in our hobby. So yeah, I'm so grateful to have such an amazing supportive community here on YouTube. So thank you all for that. 
If you've enjoyed today's video, please um, gi give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down below. It means a lot to a content creator when you hit that subscribe button. Please also hit the little bell notification so you know when I've uploaded videos, which is usually three times a week. I'll also throw up my Instagram handle for you so you can come follow me over there. I put lots up in real time, lots around my collection and my day to day life. So please come follow me over there. I hope wherever you are in the world today, you are having a fabulous day and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys. Thank you.